everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California, having fun on the table today with silicone putty, creating some molds. I made molds for um, frozen charlottes because we are going to be creating shrines in our mixed media class. Uh, starts on Monday, February 22nd, goes for four weeks, and our first project is a shrine. So I will be using one of these frozen charlottes in that project, which will be really, really fun. But I want to show you how to make the molds uh, so that you can uh, duplicate, replicate uh, something that you cherish and don't want to use it in one project, but you may, might want to use it in a few. And that's what I found with the frozen charlotte. So silicone putty, you can uh, fill the mold with paper clay, which is what I did. You can also fill the mold with resin. I've done that uh, on some art pieces. Also with uh, hot glue from a hot glue gun. Anything that you can put in that mold, let it uh, cure, and then it's ready to use in a project. So. Uh, a few of you in the last week have purchased a cup of coffee for the village. One, two, three, four, and five, maybe even more cups. So thank you so much. Jerry and Sue and Helen, thank you so much uh, for your time and your generosity. Much, much, much appreciated. We have sold some traveling collage kits and we have uh, sold some stencils. So I have more stencils coming from Australia. That's where I get the big circle ones. So they're sold out right now, uh, but more are coming. So let's see. Anything else I need to tell you? Oh, uh, the, the book that I have been working on feverishly <laughs> ah, <laughs> is complete. Uh, I will be taking it and having it scanned so that I can send it to the publisher. It is the uh, little girl with painted hands, a lovely little story about a little girl that didn't fit in and how she found her village, her tribe. Um, I'm sure we can all relate to that. So, all right, I guess that's it for now. And uh, see you on the table. <laughs> this is our project for today. We're playing with frozen charlottes and easy mold silicone putty and we are creating some fun molds which can be used over and over and over again uh, paper clay hot glue paper clay uh, paper clay uh, the easy mold what else did I use I guess that my hands maybe that was it All right, this is what we're going to be playing with today. Easy mold silicone putty. I have a frozen Charlotte doll. She's missing her feet, her arms, and her head. And I love her anyway. And paper clay. If you're not familiar with a frozen Charlotte doll, it is from a ballad titled Fair Charlotte. And a poem by Seba Smith called A Corpse Going to a Ball. And legend has it, um, the story of Frozen Charlotte is a folk tale from the 19th century about a vain young woman who froze to death while traveling to a New, York, a New Year's ball in an open sleigh. The weather was bitterly cold that evening, and despite warnings from her mother to dress warmly, Charlotte preferred to show off her beautiful gown during the ride to the ball. So there you have it. Um... All right, so we're going to grab the silicone putty. It's two parts, white and purple. Take equal amounts of each. Kind of greasy. Very, very easy to work with. So I will take equal parts. They look about equal. And you mix and mix and mix them until there's no longer purple and white. It's just all purple. 
Now just blend it with your hands, just knead it. I knead it. So when there are stripes of white like that, it's not completely blended. Just keep going for it. It's very soft and pliable. After it's all blended well, kind of push the cracks out of it, the air out of it, create a ball. I have a, like a log. I'm going to take her and I'm going to push her down into that and it will wrap around her to a certain degree. She's pushed down pretty firmly. I just want to check, make sure she didn't come through the other side. She did not, so that's good. I will leave her about 20 minutes. I have an art piece on the wall that has some frozen charlottes on it too. They are also casts, but I'm going to see if I can cast a cast. <laughs> if I can get a copy of one of the casts. Let her sit. So here's my mold. I got very, very close to popping through on her tummy, but I did not pop through her tummy. So she is all ready to make a casting. The first casting I'm going to make is going to be with paper clay, which is also very, very fun to play with. I think I have enough. I'm just getting all the creases out, the air out, getting it more workable, more pliable with the warmth of my hands. Then I'm going to push it down into the mold. With the paper clay, if there's cracks like this, it will show in the doll. And I am certainly okay with that. Push it into the mold the best you can. Make it as flush with the mold as you can. Removing the excess and keeping that for a future project. And as soon as that is hard enough to remove, you can pop it out of the mold and make another uh, frozen Charlotte if you choose. Okay, it has been, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and I can pop her out. She will come out. I'm going to leave her a little bit longer though, but she will pop out and hold her, hold her shape. Uh, this is one that I made a little bit earlier, obviously, and I can take sandpaper and oh look still a little moist flatten her out and also I can bring in my exacto or any kind of a, a cutter and remove the excess off the sides of her so that I can get the shape that I want then I can take the sandpaper and take that rough edge off there so just play with your little casts. Get them to look like you want them to, to look. Paper clay is very fun to play with. All right, this is a frozen Charlotte that I used to mold off a piece of artwork. This is the one you saw me make. This is the one that's dry and I'm sanding. This one I used hot glue in the mold, in the silicone mold. And this is another one that's drying, wet, wet, and wet. So I'll let these dry at least overnight. I'll put them down by my heater vent and they will dry more quickly. But uh, oh my goodness, they are all ready for some fun projects. And these molds can be used again and again and again. They are rubber. Silicone actually, but so, so much fun. 
All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.